What is up my fellow Eagle, Fang, Miyagi-Do and Cobra Kai friends? In this video, it's a little bit of a shorter one, but this is just sort of why I think there's going to be a time jump in Season 4. Now, as we know, even though Season 3 is right after Season 2, there was a little bit of time elapsed, but not a lot. It was mostly a few weeks, uh, just, you know, to sort of let the dust settle and really let the fallout from Season 2 settle in. But I feel this time, it is time for a bigger jump. Now, unless they plan to save the All Valley for season five and six, um, I see the Valley coming, you know, the All Valley coming in season four. And based on everything that's being alluded to, everything that's being set up, I feel like it's gonna obviously happen season four. But the original date, and I completely forgot about this, the season three finale is called December 19th. What is the original All Valley poster's date of 1984? December 19th. So in a way, it's sort of a meta way of saying, hey, this is the prelude to the All Valley fight. I just, I just caught that just now. But in Cobra Kai, the All Valley is actually situated on May 19th instead. And I'm not sure if season two is going to follow that, uh, season two, season four is going to follow that exact date, but I think it said May when Kreese was sticking it up on the wall. So right now, season three's ended in December. I say we maybe fast forward a couple of months down the line and we really see an, a full strength Miguel and a full strength Cobra Kai Robbie um, really settling into their new philosophies and we really sort of take our time to see how they've changed with their dojos and as cool as it would be to see Hawk and all them you know new Miyagi-Do students um happen right away like I don't know like this is the thing I think I just kind of contradicted myself because the thing is if you do a time jump how do people like Hawk uh how do people like Miguel like how do they like we want to see how they settle in but do you set season four over five months? Like, you just, you can't do it, can you? Um, unless you have multiple time jumps. We know that season three was held over the course of at least a couple of months. Um, right from the end of summer up until winter. So maybe they could get away with it. It's just, you know, I, I feel like we do want to see how the new guys settle in. But I feel like it's very likely that there'll be a time jump and then we just, f we fast forward to how they've adjusted to their dojos and how they've adjusted to the new philosophies, the new teachings, the new rules. Um, comment your thoughts down below. I'm interested to hear what you guys have to say. Now, again, any theory I put out is not, tr you know, it's just theory. It's not based on any leaks. It's not based on any uh, rumor type things. It's just my own individual thinking. And I'll say this with any theory I put out, always keep in mind that it's just theory. It's just speculation. Um, you know, don't set yourself up for failure kind of thing. Um, with all, I mean, you know, obviously this video is not that much of a problem, but you know what I mean, like with other kind of theories that I might do in future. But I do feel like a time jump may be essential just to really, really hone in on what's happened. Or what you could do is the first maybe two episodes of season four, you settle into the new dojos, you see how Hawk and all of the, the you know, the new character, uh, the new joinees, if you will, you know, how Robbie, Tori, and Kyler are developing in Cobra Kai, and how Hawk, Dimitri, and Miguel are developing into Miyagi-Do and the combined dojo thing. And then maybe episode three, then you do a time jump, and then you just fast forward a, a month or two, because then that way we get to see how they've settled in, and then you go two months later or something like that. And I know that's a lot of story missed, but I just don't know how you tell a whole season between the end of December and May. Like, it's, it's, it's gonna be close, very close, and mind you, season one did it, um, so it's, it's possible, it is possible, it is very possible that they could replicate that again, um, because I have been re-watching season one, and I've noticed that the All Valley is in May, but Miguel not long just starts school, so unless he joins around the time where maybe it's a bit further along, he joins around sort of the time of Halloween, um, so it is all very possible. There's a lot of potential there. Um, the timeline for me is something that it's definitely something that I really want to condense into a video and I really want to explore with you guys um, because I really just want to see what happens on what specific dates and what specific months 
And then when you watch the show, you get an even clearer understanding, right, this is happening at this point, or this is happening at this point, or this is where we are in the timeline. Um, so they could very well pull it off. Five months over one season, they could pull it off. They've done it before. It's just, I don't know, I feel like maybe it might serve the story to maybe fast forward ahead of time. Um, but you never know. Anyway, guys and girls, as always, leave your comments down below. I'm interested to hear what you guys have to say. And um, this is just something that I was putting out there, is maybe there could be a time jump of sorts at a point there could be like a time skip where maybe it doesn't happen at the start of the season maybe episode three episode four then we go like a month later or something um and they don't actually maybe tell you it they just do it kind of thing um a bit like how they've done with season three um it's told over a course of a few months but you don't really know it unless you look into it so yeah guys and girls leave your comments down below let me know what you think and as always now the real pain begins danny boy